morning children today we are proceeding with exercise 2.6 here not only quadratic even cubic power 4 by quadratic uh, equations of higher order will also come okay very first question find the zeros of the polynomial f of x equals 4x square minus 25 What do you mean by this word zero? Put this polynomial equals to zero. Solve it. Whatever answer we get, we call as zeros. So what is f of x given? Four x square minus twenty five. To find the zeros, make it equal to zero. I get it's not ordinary factorization. There is no x term, so just bring twenty five here. Four x square equals to twenty five. X square equals twenty five by four, or x is equal to square root of twenty five by four. What is x then? Twenty five square root five, four square root two. Is that all? Remember, whenever I find square root, I have to put Plus R minus. So when the power is two, I must get two answers. What are the two zeros? One is five by two, and the other one is minus five by two. So take and write the answer. Zeros are plus R minus five by two. Second problem. If X is equal to minus two is one root of x cube minus x square minus seventeen x equal to twenty two. Find the other roots. See, when they give you equal symbol, they use the word roots. When they do not give any equal to zero, anything like that. it is called a polynomial for which i use the word zeros so equal to 22 equal to 0 so whenever it is an equation i call roots whenever it is an expression i call zeros remember the difference now they have given one root then we can very well go with synthetic division method well last year you have done these problems We shall recall x cube minus x square minus seventeen x. Bring twenty two this side minus twenty two equal to zero. Now how will I do the synthetic division method? If they give you one root, put that one root out. Put these numbers. I want the coefficients. What are the numbers? No number means one. Again, no number. It is minus one. What is the number? Minus seventeen and then minus twenty two. How will I start with? Just write this number one. Minus two into one minus two. Then minus one minus two will give me minus three. Multiply minus into minus plus two three are six. Minus seventeen plus six is minus eleven. Minus into minus plus Two into eleven twenty two. So I get the answer zero. Whenever it is a root, I will get the answer zero. And once this is done, here you multiply x square. Here you multiply x, and this is the constant. So how will I write the equation? One into x square. Minus three into x minus eleven equal to zero. How will you solve? It is ordinary quadratic equation. Remember the formula: x is equal to minus b plus r minus root of b square minus four ac by two a. No number. I call this as a. This is b and this is c. Substitute in the formula 
x is equal to minus b. b is minus 3. So, minus b means plus 3. Plus r minus root of b square. b is minus 3, b square is 9. Minus 4 into a value 1, c value minus 11. The whole thing by 2 into a value 1. Simplify this answer. 3 plus r minus. Minus into minus plus. 4 11 are 44. 44 plus 9, 53. So I write root of 53 divide by 2. I cannot simplify this further. That is the answer. See, what is the degree of this 3? How many answers should I get? 3. One answer is minus 2. The other two answers are 3 plus root 53 by 2 and 3 minus root 53 by 2. So whenever the degree is 3, I must be able to get 3 answers. Question number 3. Find the real roots of x power 4 equals 16. Again, it is equal to something. So, I have to find the roots. Now, bring 16 to the left side. x power 4 minus 16 equals to 0. The next step, x power 4 can be written as x square the whole square. 16 can be written as 4 square. What pattern is this? a square minus b square. How will I factorize? a plus b into a minus b. Here a is x square and b is 4. So how will I write it? x square plus 4 into x square minus 4 equals to 0. Next, factorize that. x square plus 4 0 or x square minus 4 0. Can I simplify this? I get x square equal to minus 4. x square cannot be negative. So I will write not real. My question is only the real roots. So this is not real. Go on to the second one. What is the second one? x square equals to 4 or x is equal to root of 4. Remember Whenever square root is there, plus or minus and 4 square root is 2. So, x is equal to plus or minus 2. The question is find the real roots and I have achieved x is equal to plus or minus 2. So, take and write the answer. Real roots are plus 2 and minus 2. Question number 4. Solve 2x plus 1 the whole square minus 3x plus 2 the whole square equals to 0. It is almost the same pattern. a square minus b square. So how will I write it? This is a and this is b. So how will I use the formula? a plus b into a minus b. a is 2x plus 1 plus b is 3x plus 2 into a minus b. a is 2x plus 1 minus b. Change the symbol minus 3x minus 2 equals to 0. Solve this. 2x plus 3x is 5x. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2x minus 3x is minus x. 1 minus 2 is minus 1 equals to 0. Either first is 0 or second is 0. So 5x plus 3 0 or minus x minus 1 0. 5x equals minus 3 minus x equals 1. x equals minus 3 by 5. x equals Minus x is 1 means x will be minus 1. How many answers I have got? 1, 2. So 2 answers. Is that all? Check. 
x the whole square x the whole square so it is a quadratic expression only when the power is 2 i will get two answers so what are the two answers that i get x is minus 3 by 5 and x is minus 1 so exercise 2.6 a simple exercise with problems finding zeros or roots Whenever it is equal to 0, equal to some number, it is roots. Whenever without something is given, without equated to some value, it is called zeros. Try and write the problems without seeing. Thank you. Exercise 2.7 Some more of the algebraic facts. The very first question is factorize x power 4 plus 1. They have given the hint in the question. Try completing the square. What do you mean by the square? I want to achieve a square plus 2ab plus b square which I can write a plus b the whole square. So to achieve this First, x power 4 I can rewrite as. I want square. So, x square the whole square. 1 is nothing but 1 square. What is missing? 2ab. This is a and this is b. I want 2ab. So, 2 into x square into 1. That is 2x square I am adding. Can I simply add something? So whenever I add, I also need to subtract. See, these three things, I am using this formula. It is a plus b the whole square. Or I will say a is x square and b is 1 the whole square minus 2x square can be written as root 2x the whole square. Now what formula is this? a square minus b square. How will I factorize it? a plus b into a minus b. a is the first bracket x square plus 1. b is the second bracket root 2x. Apply in the formula a plus b x square plus 1 plus root 2x into a minus b. x square plus 1 minus root 2x and that is the answer. The question is factorize. The power 4, maximum we have written x square, some quadratic into a quadratic and that is the answer. Question number 2, they have given if x square plus x plus 1 is a factor of a polynomial 3x cube plus 8x square plus 8x plus a, then find a. So they have given this is a factor of this. Whenever it is a factor, I can divide this by this one. So let us divide. What will I write inside? 3x cube plus 8x square plus 8x plus a. What is coming here? x square plus x plus 1. It's an ordinary division method. How will you divide? First term by first term. 3x cube by x square. What do I get? 3x. So what is the quotient? 3x. How to get the quotient? First term by first term. So you can directly do it. If you don't know, write it like this way and find out. Now multiply 3x into x square, 3x cube. 3x into x, 3x square. 3x into 1, 3x. What should I do? Subtract. Subtract means change the symbol. Minus, minus, minus. 3x cube, 3x cube will get cancelled. 8x square minus 3x square is 5x square. 
8 x minus 3 x is 5 x. Lower the next term that is a. What is the procedure? First term by first term. 5 x square first term by x square. So what I get? 5. So the next term is 5. Multiply 5 into x square. 5 x square. 5 into x. 5 x. 5 into 1. 5. <coughs> we need the answer should be 0. Why do I put 0? Factor. The word factor means it must exactly divide this. So my answer should necessarily be 0. Change the symbol. Minus cancels. Minus cancels. And this also minus. So a minus 5 should give me 0. Means let me write here. This implies a minus 5. A minus 5 should give me 0 means A equals 5. My question is find A value. So A equals 5 and that is the answer. So 2.7 we have only two problems and mostly we are using the identity or the word factor means the given factor should exactly divide the polynomial. My answer should be 0 and hence I am able to find A. Thank you.